And of course, it's time to switch Donkey Kong over to a hard computer player. Again, we don't really need to explain anything about the board since we've already done that. You get to see Toad's lovely soul-eating face one more time. <laughs> Because of the teacups, he's going up instead and has to make a loop around. Hitting that warp panel. Going right to where Wario is, so he's officially also heading right in the right direction. Well done to our current superstar. And now it's time for his teammate to roll. Waluigi also rolling a 9, which means he's also going to be ending up in that same spot. A very interesting start, to say the least. And Wario's teammate Daisy is now up. Rolling a 10, going up. Seriously? Really? <laughs> She's also going to be hitting that warp panel, and since everybody else is on the same spot, she's just gonna be... going to the same spot as everyone else. Okay! <laughs> The first turn is up, and literally everyone is in the same exact space on the board. No one also wanting to take a ride on the roller coaster, but the roller coaster's gonna make them go that way anyway. Making their way around the loop de loop. Team Smell You Later, both on the opposite side of the board now. Star in the next couple turns, possibly. Donkey Kong hitting the happening space. Time for another roller coaster chase. Doing his gorilla run around the loop de loop. And getting sent to the wrong side of the board. That could have worked out in Daisy's favor. And hey, it's time for a lucky mini game. Cool. Times two. Very nice. The minigame begin. It's a four-player game. A little bit of avalanche. Let's see who can make it down the mountain first. Waluigi not really doing much to get away from the incoming avalanche back there. <laughs> Oh dear, that's a triple wipeout. Daisy is the only one left. She is basically in the home stretch, free to win this minigame. Ooh. So, the next star could very well still go to Waluigi. And it's time for another lucky minigame, apparently. That's unusual. I haven't seen two lucky minigames show up during a single match. So far, I don't think, anyway. Wario using a mini mushroom. Because... Just because, I guess. <laughs> yeah, and a four. He was also technically in range to get that star. <laughs> Waluigi, no! <laughs> Why do they do this? Why? <laughs> Waluigi, you were right there. You're right there. You rolled a five anyway. That's great. That's the second time Waluigi has done that, too. Used a mini mushroom right in front of the star, and then rolled a five, and got it anyway. Just giving me a heart attack for no reason. But hey, that's another star to Team Big Guys. Does not roll high enough to squish Donkey Kong as well. And hey, what do you know? Time for another 2v... A third lucky minigame. Really? Interesting. Again, times two coins. Are lucky minigames just more likely to show up during team matches or something? 
or are we just getting lucky in seeing the lucky minigames? I don't know. Change in the teacup direction, which means Wario's gonna be heading in the wrong way. But Daisy is actually a lot closer than I thought she was, so she's probably gonna be getting this star this turn. Unless she uses that mini mushroom. Bet you five dollars she uses that mini mushroom and just screws herself over. Oh, oh, no, she's using the warp pipe. Literally for no reason, she's using the warp pipe. Different set of circumstances this time. Warping with Wario, putting herself completely out of the way of getting the star. It was all set up for her, and she just didn't do it. She just didn't take it. Very good. Which means as far as team rankings are right now, I think uh, everyone is tied up right now. Yeah. It's three stars on either team. But Wario still has a lot of coins here. There's the roller coaster. Wario's rather impressive coin count is um, given us a fourth item mini. Why the <laughs> fourth lucky mini game? <laughs> Why are so many lucky mini games showing up? I don't get it. Oh, Waluigi is taking a ride on the roller coaster. How fun! Looking to grab some extra coins here. Possibly run someone over, but unfortunately no one was in the way. Oh well. I guess it's just not the boys' day. Oh my god. Every time I see this happen, every time I see this happen, <laughs> they use a mini mushroom while they're directly in front of the star. And it's Peach again, too. Peach, absolutely, two times now during these tournaments, has completely sabotaged herself because she missed the star in Koopa Seaside Soiree, and she's missing the star right here because she goes to Bowser instead. <laughs> I mean, she's only losing 10 coins, but why? I don't understand what the logic is there. Why use Mini Mushroom directly in front of the star is such a common thing. Ah, uh, let's see. Yes, Yoshi has indeed decided to use his Chomp Call. Gonna be moving the star to hopefully an easier to get to spot. Where is it going to end up, though? That is the question. Poor Shy Guy. Definitely did not sign up for this. <laughs> and he puts the star right in front of Peach and Mario. Oh, no. Oh, no. Things are already not looking good for Team Green Bean, I think. <laughs> Mario only rolls the two and ends up hitting the warp panel, but Princess Peach is more than close enough to grab that star this turn. But Luigi has that warp pipe, so if he can switch spots with Peach... Never mind, he's not using it. Okay. And he's just heading off in the completely wrong direction, I guess. Yep. <laughs> Let's see... Who can color the most? Everyone just kind of doing their own thing right now. Mario covering up Princess Peaches for some reason. <laughs> Mario, you're on a team. You should probably be working together. Meanwhile, Yoshi and Luigi are just going about their business. Well, Mario is continuing to try and sabotage Princess Peach for literally no reason. Don't know what's going on there. Yoshi... <laughs> That was almost a tie for Team Green Bean. I'm not sure what Mario is doing there. Mario's... Mario's been a bit weird during these tournaments for Mario Party 4. He... Princess Peach needs to find Mario, Yoshi needs to find Luigi. Yoshi and Luigi meet up, but they are too late. I can see them off in the corner there, all disappointed. Good attention to detail. <laughs> nope, going for the mini Mega Hammer. 
Yay. And Princess Daisy finding a hidden block. Second roll of the game, getting herself a star. Holy moly. Put in Team Smelly a later in a pretty early lead. Heading off to the pink area, purple area, whatever that color is. And finds another hidden block. What? Alright. Daisy? Now, first hidden block I can accept on the second roll. Two hidden blocks within five turns on this from the same person? Now I'm a little suspicious. <laughs> it feels like the CPU is going back to kind of their cheating hidden block seeking out ways. Or maybe Daisy is just that lucky this time around. Who knows? She ended up not... Mario, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my god, why are you doing that? He was in the right section of the board with enough coins to get the star, and he uses his warp pipe and puts Mario in line to get it. What is going on? What is going on? I have never... I have never had a Mario Party game like, break me mentally this much. It is so confusing when they do things like that. There was no reason for that. There was none I could possibly think of that was advantageous for Wario to use that warp pipe right there. Everyone else was in the wrong spot of the board. Maybe he was looking to swap with Daisy and put her in the right spot, but she doesn't have enough coins. Daisy just keeps getting her stars from hidden blocks. Alright, Wario making his way up to the roulette using his Super Mega Mushroom. Okay. Now he has plenty of coins. And if he doesn't pay off the Goomba, well, it'll just be another example of complete utter dumbness on the computer's part in this game. <laughs> you got lots of cash, Wario. You can afford it. Yes, he is paying off Goomba. Full 20 corn amount, pretty much guaranteeing him going in the right direction to get the star. So with that high 25 roll on the Mega Mushroom, probably going to be walking right by it at first. Yep. But that does set him up to be just deciding to completely walk away from the area of right... Oh my god. <sighs> the only reason those two are winning right now is because Daisy lucked into getting two hidden blocks. <laughs> he might end up stealing a... Okay, here's another hidden block. 20 coins. Okay, I was gonna scream if it was a star. <laughs> I was going to scream. <laughs> she could still be heading in the right direction. Though, thanks to hitting that happening space up there, uh, Princess Peach is now pretty close to getting that star. Speaking of stars, though, got the star space on the roulette wheel, got 20 coins, and now she gets to choose her direction. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Please! Please stop. <laughs> what is happening? What is happening with this game? <laughs> that is her third hidden block. That is her third hidden block that she has gotten a star with. That's the fourth hidden block that duo has hit. One of them was coins. But now Daisy has four stars. And she got three of them for free. Now Wario... Using his crystal ball, gonna be stealing the only star Team Power Couple has. Giving them a five star lead. Not to mention, Daisy just hit the roulette star, the, the star on the roulette wheel, and got a hidden block in the same roll. Like, what are the odds of this? Wario finally doing something smart. 
getting electrocuted for all of the dumb things he's done. <laughs> and... He, he stole a star. He did something smart. Peach has 64 coins. I, like, just noticed it. Uh, put in the yay sound effect, I guess. I don't know. Yay! <sighs> but that doesn't quite work out for Mario. Mario using a Mega Mushroom. Okay. Four and an eight, stomping on Mario. If I had to guess, probably gonna try and make his way downward. Nope. <laughs> I should try and stop thinking that the AI is going to do the right thing. Especially since Wario seems like determined to lose. He seems absolutely determined to give the other team every advantage. and keep making the wrong moves. But Daisy won't let him. Daisy keeps finding the hidden blocks to make up for Wario's blunders. It's actually pretty astonishing to watch. <laughs> and it's starting to be a little questionable if anybody is going to be able to get to that last star in time. Daisy is the closest. So she might be able to make it there. Mario could have been the closest. If he wasn't determined to st oh, God. <laughs> I burped in rage. Oh god. That was a rage burp. Okay. I, I just don't even know. He's determined to stay as far away from the star as possible, and I don't know why. It is the opposite of everything that an AI P P Mario Party computer should be doing. Waluigi using his Mega Shroom? Okay. I guess that's logical. If he doesn't want to turn off the Red Boo Bridge. Rolling that 14 and skipping right by it will do it. But he hits the warp panel <laughs> for his trouble. And ends up exactly where he started. Making that Mega Mushroom entirely pointless. Yay! And hey, time for a ride on the mystery train! Actually... Waluigi might be able to get that star this turn. If he goes to the Boneyard I'm thinking of. If he- if- if it's positioned the way I think it is, Waluigi might be able to walk- Oh, well, never mind. He's going over here. I was gonna say, I think there's a Boneyard down right- uh, in front of where the star is right now. So Waluigi might have actually been able to get to that star. Ends up hitting a warp panel, though, stopping short of Boo, which I'm sure is where he was trying to go either way. And basically ends up right back where he started. So, <laughs> um, that didn't really accomplish much. Okay. Uh, you know what? Maybe Waluigi just really wanted another ride on the mystery train, and that's why he took the route he did. So he would hit the warp panel, go back to where he started, and he gets to take another ride on the mystery train. Makes sense to me. Seems like a fun time. <laughs> and the way things are set up, Waluigi is in line to pay a visit to Boo again. Not hitting the warp panel this time. The way things are right now, it's definitely looking like Team Green Bean is going to be facing elimination. Because 
Team Big Guys has all the stars right now. They've... Oh. It's in that spot. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait for someone to walk up to it and refuse the free coins in front of the star. Ugh. Oh, look! Yoshi... Okay, he didn't get a mini mushroom. I was gonna scream. I was gonna scream if Yoshi ended up doing the same mistake as last time. Oh boy. He could theoretically use Luigi's mini mushroom, but I doubt he will. While Luigi... Using his warp pipe. Going back to the mystery train. <laughs> <laughs> this is the third turn in a row Waluigi has taken a ride on the mystery train and what do you want to bet he's gonna go to the same spot yep and he's gonna somehow end up right back where he started and take another ride on the mystery train. He literally... Oh, he's going in the other direction. Okay. I was about to say he was literally going to the same spot he started in. <laughs> Waluigi with a three finishes us off. I think the results of this mini... This uh, round of the tournament is going to be pretty obvious here in a second. Team Treasure Trek finishes the round. Another romp through the maze. Oh. Oh, no. Huh. That's... Huh. So, we have a first for the CPU tournament, a game crash. Where the game just did not load. It was taking a while, and I was very concerned for a second, and my concerns were warranted. Oh, Luigi using his mini mushroom this time. Okay. Uh, he ended up getting switched with Donkey Kong, and he's paying a visit to the... Oh, that's mean. That's mean. Well, we're seeing another mini event with a few different items. Uh, for victory, including a magic lamp on the last turn. You basically just pick a spot and you get the item that pops out of the horn. The only way to get an item on the last turn, by the way. Ends up getting a magic lamp for his troubles, but... He can't even use it. Yoshi. Number of stars. Big guys are the only ones with stars. Number of coins. Big guys are the only ones with any significant number of coins. Donkey Kong has 64 coins. Everyone celebrate. Yay! We've had a few good rounds of this recently. There hasn't been many immediately lo immediate losses. Princess Peach almost running right into that snowball, though. Oh, there goes Peach. There goes Mario. It's a guaranteed win for the big guys. And they both get hit. Oh my goodness. That was a impressive shot. That was a double kill for Mr. Blizzard. No one wins that minigame. Just as I said, it was a guaranteed win. Still, no one has enough coins to grab that star, unfortunately. Unless something happens to give Waluigi four coins before his roll comes up. Oh no, come on. Don't. Oh, lots of explosions happening. Preach, already at 54 points. 60 points, excuse me. Donkey Kong still doing pretty nice too. 66 points. Hey, 64 points for Princess Peach, alright. Yay! Looks like we're gonna be seeing a showdown here. Rolling an 8 and a 10. Nice high roll. 
And it's time to face Bowser. Prepare yourself indeed. What's it time for? Some more panels of doom. There are multiple mini games that Bowser can challenge you to on here, I'm pretty sure. The panels of doom just seems to like to show up. Daisy choosing to stay on five, Bowser on three. Seven collapses. Nine, there it goes. Two is gone. Four is gone. We're getting really down to the wire here. Five. Oh no. Daisy collapses her own panel under her feet. How tragic. Bowser wins, which means he is going to get a hefty sum of coins from Daisy. How terrible. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Poor Daisy. Stop it on Peach, though. Honestly, is Daisy gonna have enough spaces to challenge Bowser a second time this turn? <laughs> Changes the direction of the bridge. And yes, indeed, she loops around perfectly. She gets a, a second chance at taking out Bowser. Okay. And hey, more panels of doom. I feel like we've seen this before, but I could be wrong. Now let's see if Daisy has any more luck. Sticking to five. Five didn't work out so good for her last time, but she has faith. Bowser's on nine this time. There goes panel one, there goes panel two. Oh, how about that? There goes panel nine. Daisy officially beats Bowser at his own game. How about that? That's the first victory against Bowser we've seen on Bowser's Gnarly Party. They all actually make it to the bottom, though. Wario ends up coming out with the most after a pretty shaky start. 19 coins to him. My end, Wario has 64 coins. How about that? Everybody celebrate. Yay! No, it went to Wario and Daisy. That looks almost even. Maybe theirs is a little lower. Interesting, interesting. And now Mario has 64 coins. Yay. Yay! Mini game to uh, the plumber and his lovely princess. Very good. Very good for them. Uh-oh. Yep. Yep. Okay. I figured that would happen eventually. Oh, boy. All right. Let's see if I can fix it.